Skip, should the final seven minutes and 50 seconds be replayed? Yes. I watched this game. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was trying to watch your game and this game at the same <laughs> time, and I was getting really distracted by this game yeah. because this turned out to be the game of the year so far in the NBA. There is no way the okay. final 750 <laughs> of this game should be replayed. There is double no way that the Rockets should be awarded the victory. And that is what Tim McMahon, who covers for ESPN.com, covers the Rockets, wrote that the Rockets are hopeful, and I'm, I'm just going to guess he got this from Daryl Morey, the GM, but right. they're hopeful that a victory will just be flat out awarded to the Rockets because they did blow this call and that they're very confident that if that doesn't happen, that the final 750 will be replayed when these two teams meet again for the second time in San Antonio, which is April the 12th. That'll be the second and final okay. time right, that, that the Rockets visit San Antonio. That's like the end of the regular season, though. Okay, yeah. it's three days before. Yeah, three days. Three, yeah, before it's their oh. third to last game. Right. Okay, there is precedent for this. You're talking about the Shaq right. game yeah. when they wrongly ruled him disqualified with six fouls. Right. So they let the final 50 seconds be replayed the next right. time those two teams play. Right. You do it first, and then you stop down for a little bit and start the real game, right. the next game, right? Okay, so there is absolutely no doubt that the refs completely botched this entire situation right. because they even denied Mike D'Antoni the right to challenge twice, according right. to D'Antoni. Right. Because they first came to him and said, it's a goaltend. The ball didn't go through. Gold tend. Yes, it did. I, I, it just went through. Yeah. Well, why wouldn't they just go look at it and say, what? You know, like, yeah, it, it went through. Then they said, he said, I challenged that. And they said, well, you can't challenge. Y yes, I can. I can challenge. And then right. another ref comes over, according to D'Antoni, and said, no, it, it, it actually didn't go through. And then James knocked it out of bounds. So it's off Houston out of bounds. It's the Spurs ball. Right. Double. Wait, no, that, that didn't happen either. Challenge that. Okay, he said, I want to challenge. No, you can't challenge. And then they had the audacity to say after the game in their statement that the refs made, right. he missed the 30-second window to challenge. And Dan Tony's like, no, I kept saying I want to challenge. And they said, no, you can't challenge right. that. That's frustrating. Okay, well, it's, they completely, <laughs> completely blew this. The Rockets got <coughs> robbed on that play, Correct. just on that play. And as Jenny pointed out, it was a wipeout. It was 104 yeah. to 89 at that point if you count the two points. Right. But – you know and I know, every night they miss some call. Thank you. How many nights with five minutes left or four or three is there a shot made and then they call a charge and they wipe off the, the basket? Right. right. And somebody could say, no, you missed it. It was not a charge. We should have had that two points, so right. we should have won the, the close game, Correct. right? Yes. So you can't open that Pandora's box by going back and saying, I don't know what the Rockets are, are insisting this, but, but you can't do this no. because – Remember, the Rockets still got two overtimes to right this wrong. Right. Not not one. They got two. So, so they, they had the rest of regulation and <laughs> two they, th they still had a 102 to 89 lead and they couldn't hold that. So in other words, you, you're mad that you didn't blow the 15 point lead like you did the 13 point mm. lead. Because you did have, even though the basket didn't count, Skip, you had a 13 point lead. The score was 102 to 89. Correct. So you're up 13. Mm -hmm. With James Harden and Russell Westbrook. But, Skip, I agree with you 1,000%. There is no way in hell they should play the final 750. Mm. Skip, Skip, there are goaltendings that happen in the first quarter or the second quarter or the third quarter that they miss. This was a missed call. But the, I don't believe the, the, the bottom line is, Skip, the referees did not know the ball had gone in the basket. Mm -mm. That was it. They thought it had went down. He slammed it so hard it went and popped back out. It actually went through, and the net, the net shoot, it put it back and it went around. The net popped it all the way back on top of the rim, and it's right. bouncing around right. on top. Cool. Right. Yeah. So it's an optical illusion it to is. the referees. Correct. Like, it didn't go through the basket. Exactly. Yeah, it did. But that wasn't what cost you the game. James Harden and Russell Westbrook going 18 of 68 from the floor. That's what cost you the game. Skip, James Harden was 11 of 38. By the way, you know that was the lowest field goal percentage <laughs> ever for someone who's scored 50 points. Mm. 11 of 38. And Russ was 7 of 30. He had a triple dub, though, Skip. Mm -hmm. He had a triple dub. He did. Skip, 18 of 68. That's what cost you the game. And and uh, Mac D'Antoni, he made mention of it. Uh, we didn't get any stops, and we just kept, you know, turning the ball over and jacking up shots. 18 of 68, Skip. At mm. what point in time say, so you know what? 
Let me try to get a little better shot. Let me try to lay it up. James Harden was four of 20 from the three. Four of 20. Mm -hmm. But he did. He was 24-24 from the free throw last year. Do you realize 24 of 24 is the all-time record for most free throws made? made? Mm -hmm. Without a miss in a game. Yeah, without a miss. 24 of 20. That's impossibly great. The concentration that you got to have. They were 15 of 51 from the three. 42 they had 42 field goals made of 112 attempts. Skip, that's what cost you the game. It wasn't that one. You mean to tell me with James Harden and Russ, two points cost you the game? The officials missed it. That's what the confusion was, Skip. They just missed the call. They missed it, and then they botched and everything they botched, that happened. And it, was, that. it was your fault because Mike D'Antoni is trying to explain. So, well, I want to challenge that he made it. No, you can't challenge that. And, and what happened, the other guy comes over and says, well, no, it, it didn't go down, and he knocked it out of bounds. Well, I want to challenge, you can't challenge that. So when they finally realized okay. that he could challenge, they said, well, the 30 seconds up. Well, you jacked off my time. <laughs> skip. <laughs> skip. It's, it's so bad. You can't make me late for a meeting, Skip, and then say I'm late for the meeting. You made me late talking yeah. to me. Man, this is ridiculous. So my quick Spurs thought of the day, I have brought this kid's name up to you before. Lonnie Walker the fourth. I figured you'd bring him up. I told you after last summer's summer league, Mm -hmm. I thought he was the best player in summer league. He he only played two games, but he averaged 30 a game. Mm -hmm. Greg Popovich will not play him. He's played barely all year until last night when out of just (laughs) give up sort of desperation, he let him play the fourth quarter. And guess what happened? He went crazy. 19 points happened. (laughs) 19 points. That's like Steph Clay territory, Mm -hmm. right? And it was only because of him making seven of eight shots that they had a miraculous comeback to tie the score. Yep. Mm. And, of course, my man Jakob Pertl, my close personal friend Jakob Pertl mm-hmm. that I met in Las Vegas. Did you see what he did to James Harden at the end of regulation? He made him eat it. Can we see this? Jakob! Jakob! Oh, yeah! Yeah, look at that. Jakob! Oh, there's your guy. That was it. That was for the game right okay. there. I want you to remember that. <laughs> yeah. Now. Jakob! He, he could jump. Jakob. So I like when, so when, I just want you to remember that. Yeah. Jenny, you heard, you saw him. He, yeah. Oh, Jakob. Jakob. Now, when LeBron <laughs> dunk on him, I don't want to hear you say nothing about it. You know what? what? <laughs> I don't think LeBron can dunk on him. We're going to wait I for that. I he, think he's a little springier than Tiago Splitter was. Uh, he, getting, he getting flushed on. Yeah. Oh, but skip, so? skip, skip, but there's no way. You... But, uh, you can't play seven minutes and 52 mm-hmm. seconds. Like you said, the Shaq situation, I think it was like 52 seconds. Yeah, That's one minute. thing, Skip. Yeah. But, and that was at the end of the ball. But you're talking about playing seven, almost eight minutes of a game? It is not going. I hope no, it's not going to happen. No, come on. Happen. Okay. Skip, skip, I can, skip, if they miss this in the last minute, okay, I get it. Go replay that last minute. Yep. But, Skip, you can't, not, not seven minutes and 50 seconds. I don't even know if you do it then, considering the game went, now, if you had lost the regulation, mm-hmm. but... To have two overtimes thrown in on top of it, you had two, uh, uh, what, 10 minutes to mm-hmm. correct the wrong? Mm-hmm. Nah, NBA said, nah, y'all, y'all, y'all hey, it's uh, our bad. Mm. Our bad, Got my it. bad. But they should have maybe owned it a little bit better than they did in terms of the officiating. Especially with their post-game statement. Yeah. Yes. To say that he didn't right? challenge, I mean, Come on. that's a little yeah, they frustrating. Try to put it on, well, well, he could have challenged it. No, you were talking to me, telling me I couldn't challenge, and when you told me it went out of bounds on James, I said I wanted to challenge that. You said I couldn't challenge. Once you realized probably New York, or, C- or what they see, caucus or somewhere, got in their ear, yep. well, he can challenge that. Oh, but your time's up. You can't yeah. challenge. No! Time's up? You get 30 seconds when, when you're you're just feeding him one bogus, uh, you know, concept after another. Goaltending, out of bounds off James. What? Just, just, re- just replay it, Skip. We missed it. My bad. Hey, my bad. I, I got it wrong. I, I got it wrong. And go back and. So what's getting lost in the shuffle is the 24 of 24. And I got to credit him, even though he shot so poorly. The reason he scored 50 points was that he made every free throw. Mm-hmm. James Harden has become the greatest high-volume free throw shooter in the history of this league because Steph, just on career percentage, is the greatest free throw shooter ever because he is 90.5% for his whole career. Extraordinary. That's the best ever. Right. But the most free throws Steph ever shot in a year was 400. Last year, James shot 754 and was 88%. Well, for his career, he's 88%. Right. And 
to, to keep going up there. You know how hard it is. To yes. Maintain Th that concentration your focus. Skip. Yes. And and keep doing that and not have just one little slip in what, 24 or 10. Well, Skip, they couldn't let Steph or somebody like uh, KD shoot that many free throws. They'd average 50. Yeah. With the with the with the percentage that they shoot, because you got to realize James Harden is shooting like 43 percent. You take a guy like KD that's somewhere around 50, or LeBron is around 50 percent. They would average 45 points a night. They would. I would agree. <laughs> But the refs are giving James some calls he doesn't deserve because yes. I know how their minds work. They are won over by the guys who can go to the free throw line and make their free throws. So they will award you free throws if you have a reputation for so. being able to well, make Well, they need free to give him to LeBron because he's perfect in the last two games. Yeah. They need to get LeBron. He's perfect in the last two games. Skip, you saw that. Is he going to shoot 75% for the year? He, no. Shannon, two games, I mean. Skip. We're talking about two games. He we was looked, six for six we looked at it. We looked at it last night. <laughs> right now, he's 69.6. .6. Okay. In order for him to get back to that 75% immediately, he would need to break James Harden record and go 25 and 25 in the next game. But what we're going to do, we're going to methodically mm. do it. We're going to be 8 or 10 here, 11 or 13 there, 12 or 14 here. Mm. And by the All-Star break, inch. and by All-Star game, bam, bam. Mm. There we go. You better hope he doesn't have to shoot those with games on the line did or you, it's going to drop. Did you see him last night? I don't think the game was on you the line. You think it was on the line? those free I throws. Come on, you. stop. And he free throw to close the and he caught a dunk on Joker. Yeah. Caught a dunk on him. Huh. I think everybody caught a dunk on Joker <laughs> last night because he was just a joke. Oh, you think Caruso? Oh, oh Caruso. Oh, man, Caruso. Is you know what? He's, He's kind of fun. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.